the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court of Nigeria, Justice John Soho, has issued new practice directions on pre-election matters for all 36 divisions of the court across the country. The court's acting information officer, Obi Nwando, announced this in a statement on Tuesday. She explained that the practice directions were made in the exercise of the power conferred, conferred rather, on the chief judge of the Federal High Court by Section 254 of the Constitution. The practice directions, according to her, mandate all trial courts in every pre-election matter to deliver judgment within 180 days from the date of filing the suit. Joining us live now to make sense of this is Tunde Kolawole, who is a legal practitioner. Good to have you, Barista. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Uh, very quickly, help us understand what's the significance of these new directives to pre-election matters? Well, basically, I would want to think um, the Chief Judge has made uh, this new practice direction basically to speed up or to expedite or to ensure the speedy disposal of all the election matter. I also feel that the new practice election is to ensure also speedy disposal of all petitions that might be written against any judge who is a presiding over if the election matters. Furthermore, when they write these petitions, they are to verify it with an affidavit. So if at the end of the day, a litigant is found or a lawyer is found to have written a frivolous uh, petition, which uh, they cannot substantiate, such uh, writers of such petitions can be prosecuted for perjury. Furthermore, too, you will have seen that um, the new party direction says that um, a judge before, before whom such a new, I mean, such matters are before, can continue to hear the matter during vacation until it is disposed of. So the nutshell of all this is that um, my Lord, the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, mm -hmm. want to ensure the speedy disposal of all the election matters within the specified, within the prescribed time limit mm. of 180 days. And if you will uh, match this up with the elections that are going to be conducted and the matters that are arising from those elections in uh, those states and in those states, you will agree with me that this party's election is timely and is uh, most welcome. Right. And my next, I mean, that brings me to my next question. In that uh, directive that... Um, was uh, given out. He mentioned also that all matters must be concluded within 180 days, as he also mentioned there. But the question is, you know, from history, we've known how these uh, matters go in back and forth. How realistic is this to happen within 180 days to conclude the matters? Well, it is uh, possible to conclude some of these matters uh, within 180 days. If there is cooperation, from the litigants and the judges are allowed to do whatever they have to do with regard to some of these um, uh, pre-election matters. What has always been an hindrance to the expeditious disposal of most of these matters are usually the frivolous application, frivolous petitions that are written against some of the judges who sit over these matters. And then interlocutory um, appeals with regard to some of this uh, matter. Mm -hmm. So if all the parties to the matter cooperate, I am of the opinion that uh, it's not impossible to really dispose of some of these election matters within the 180 days. Mm -hmm. I mean, the realization of these things will depend on the parties uh, that are involved in some of these uh, matters. But it is possible. It is realistic. Okay. You and I will recollect that before now, some of these pre election matters drag over two, three, four years without being disposed of. Uh, that's why it was possible for some of these um, people elected into office to serve the full time for top officers. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. It's before some of these how... election matters are disposed of. It is interesting how it you have mentioned, Barrister, if I may interject. Just to call, yeah. If I may interject, Barrister, um, it's interesting yeah. how you've mentioned there to say that if all parties involved um, comply, then well, this, is, this, this yeah. is possible. Let's talk about, you know, tactical delays, some of which are unnecessary. And, you know, sometimes it also comes from your own end in terms of your colleagues. Um, wh what's your advice to colleagues who now engage in all of this sort of unnecessary tactical delays if we want 180 days to be really feasible and practicable? Uh, yeah, well, uh, ordinarily, uh, my colleagues are not supposed to be an hindrance uh, in the wheel of justice. The first thing you are taught when you enter the law school is that lawyers are officers in the temple of justice and they are to assist both the court and even the opposing party in the fair and expeditious disposal of whatever matters are before the court. So if a lawyer is found to be a clog in the wheel of justice, such lawyers can be disciplined mm -hmm. uh, in the appropriate quarters, which is the judiciary committee of the bar. But notwithstanding, we have found that some of our colleagues have been dodged in some of these things simply because they want to win case at all costs. I suspect, and you will find that most times when people write petitions against judges, the language in which some of those petitions are written is the language of the lawyer. But they will ask one of the parties, or somebody who is not even a party for the matter, to sign such petitions. Simply because some of our colleagues will want to escape whatever sanctions might be accruing from writing frivolous petitions against an innocent uh, a judge. Mm -hmm. With this new party direction, and which parties are supposed to verify whatever petitions they are writing, I suspect that it will cut the excesses of some of our colleagues with regard to some of the frivolous petitions that we have seen being written against um, uh, judges. All right. Thank you so very much, Barrister Tunde Kolawole, for your time with us. And do keep safe out there. Thanks for having me. All right. I hope you also keep safe yourself. Yes, we would keep safe ourselves here. <laughs>